Well, morning, Blair. Good morning, Orrin. How are you doing? I'm doing well today, and how about you? I'm doing fine. I hope the siren doesn't mean anything horrible for anybody. Well, it could be just uh, burnt toast at Pinnacle uh, Towers. I, I hope it? so. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I just want to say something first, okay. if you don't mind. Go right ahead. All right, we've had we've had so, we have some requests from our followers, our fans, and um, one of them was um, that we become or we have more political topics, and the other one just came from a fan in in um, in Wisconsin who is not requesting anything specific, but she was curious about you. She says, "Who is that, Blair?" And uh, I explained, you know, how you met Edie uh, through the bookstore and years and years ago. And, and she says, well, she said, I wouldn't kick him out for eating crackers in bed. Oh, my goodness. So we, so we actually are appealing to people on many, many levels. Um, the informational level and I guess the uh, sex appeal. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm flabber flattered. I'm flabbered. Flab fl flat. Flatulence. Yes, you are. <laughs> Not really, but yes. I, I, uh, I'm astounded. The other thing that that people was were wondering about would be if we would do some more uh, program, do some programs on politics. Okay. So, what do you think about that well, idea? Well, I heard that too. I heard about someone asked me. In fact, they asked me for two things. One is to bring our weather girl back more often, and the other is to do shows on politics. Now, there are a lot of political shows. But there are. Yep. I thought we should be a little different. And so I brought my book in. I thought if we're going to talk politics, we should all know something about politics. We should. So I thought I would read uh, through this, The History of Political Philosophy. It's a, it's a short book, as you can see, about yeah. the size of the Bible, maybe. Yeah, it's only like a thousand pages, Flair. Yeah, and uh, then when we get to the end, I have an extra essay here on Aristotle that we can all right. Well, we we definitely want to be informed before we talk politics. So well, all right, I'll start on uh, Roman numeral I, and we'll it, it, it'll only take a short time, I think, for me okay. to read through this. All right. Do you have time out there, folks, to go through this book? This is preface to the third edition. Now I could either do this. We don't have the time. I, we, I don't think Blair. I don't think we have time. Can you? Can we just cut to the chase? And can you explain? You know how you. Uh, Dismantle the Berlin Wall, for example. You know anything like that? I, I can, and I can I can do that um, in less time than reading through this book. Okay, good. And I think people will be just as edified about politics. All right, all right. All right. You're, you're right. We don't have time. For so this is actually our first political show. Yes, I hope it. it, it I hope it will do the trick for those who want po political discussion. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. So, so uh, there I was in Chicago in 1968, riding with everyone else at the Democratic Convention. Mm -hmm. And from there, I took a bus to Montreal. And I lived in Montreal. And the woman who was my patroness was an old commie from the communist days. She ran for office in Canada as a communist. She was still a party member. Her house was open uh, and used at that time by the grape pickers who were launching a boycott of grapes throughout Canada, and they used her house. So I got to meet people like uh, Cesar Chavez. Okay. And my role in the here's I, my role in that revolution was that when he left, he left his boards. Uh, he had a bad back, and he had to have boards in his bed. And they found them in his bed, and, and he was gone. Mm -hmm. And so they sent me with the boards to Toronto. It was a secret mission, and I brought Cesar Chavez his bed boards. And that was my role. You the man. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> Well, anyway, they had an international con conference there. People from all over the world, communist leaders from all over the world, from the Caribbean, from Latin America, from South America, from middle uh, European countries. They came to Montreal, and they had a, a great gathering to plan. It was a planning point how they were going to respond to the election of Nixon and the, the, the situation in the world. So, okay. So I was asked if I'd be a registrar. Since, well, uh, you, you ended up right in a smack dab in the middle of all that. Right where it was all happening. Oh, my God. Okay. And I got their, I got, uh, their name, plus each one had to pay $20. And I got, I'm sitting there, and there's a stack of $20 bills. And uh, I hear a big commotion upstairs. And I rush upstairs, and what was happening upstairs is that the, uh, the new left 
was pushing out the old left. The old lefties from the Spanish Civil War, those people, World War II, the Korean conflict, those people were old and established, and they were running the show, but the new left wanted to take over. And they um, were, so they rushed the stage, they beat people up, oh a God. riot occurred upstairs. So, yeah. Well, the issue was the old fellas, the old left, had promised to bring the Black Panthers from Oakland and pay their way, but they didn't plan on them bringing an entourage. They just thought they'd get Stokely Carmichael or one of those people. I forget yeah. his name. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah I can't either. remember now. Yeah. So, but they didn't. They reneged on that, or they were t accused of reneging, and so they they rushed the stage and beat people up and took over and established their own leader among the people. So I thought, my goodness, this is a very factious bunch. I mean, they are revolutionaries. Yeah. So I'm downstairs. It's their, it's their job. It's their job. Now, I know. I should have just accepted it. So I get down there, and uh, this pile of $20 bills is really bugging me because I don't have any money. I mean, I'm a poor commie. I'm not a rich commie like yeah. my, my patroness. She came from a very wealthy family. And um, mm -hmm. and so, I can, you know, my conscience is bothering me. i got an angel on one side and a devil on the other side. And I say, oh, and I have a new girlfriend. I just met her. Her father is an actor, and she wanted to be an actress. She's very lovely, and I wanted to take her to dinner. I had no money. Well, one of those $20 bills came out of that pile and went into my pocket. Oh, boy, that was probably just an accident. Uh, well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I feel bad about it, to, even to this day. However, flash forward to the 1980s. Okay. The 1980s, All years right. and years later, All right. 30 years later, All right. I read. We're buzzing through uh, the, the history of politics. Yeah, all kinds of things are happening. Yep. I read that the Berlin Wall has collapsed, that the Soviet Union has collapsed, the Ber Berlin Wall is being knocked down. And yep. then I remembered the butterfly effect, how a butterfly flapping its wings on the Amazon creates hurricanes that blow cities away in yep. the northern yep. Yep. Chaos. Mm -hmm. For the whack of that twenty dollars, the whole Soviet system collapsed, and so I've always told people I was responsible <laughs> for the end of communism. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, uh, yeah. Putin doesn't like what I did, but most people are glad that it came the to wall, an end. Wall came yeah. Down. yeah, yeah. So that's my story, and you can learn just about everything about politics from from what I just told you. All right, I think we've got it down. Okay, uh, that saves you having to listen to this uh, book. There you go. Now that would take a while. That would take a while. It's a good book, though. You might want to read it on your, in your spare time. I will. Okay. Well, what do you think, Edie? Sorry. It's time for Blair to go home. <laughs> it's time for Blair to go home. I guess okay. I should go home. All, All right. right. Good. good.